I used to believe that Jesus was a Catholic God or God of the Gentiles. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's like as a Jewish person, you could believe in anything else but Jesus. The minute you say Jesus, it's like, shame on you. Here we go, another Jew for Jesus. And that wasn't what happened with me. I experienced God in a very deep, profound way. Being raised Jewish in my house, my whole life, I felt that if I ever wanted to really know God, um, I had access to him as a Jewish person. We're the chosen ones. And if I wanted that relationship, I could because I identified being Jewish with knowing God. I'm 26 years old, living in Manhattan. I found myself in a very hard situation, just emotionally downward spiral where I lost my self-esteem. I was completely broken, like completely destroyed. And at the time, my best friend Jamie, she showed me more love than anyone um, during that time period. And she was sharing with me uh, her own faith walk and she would talk to me about Jesus. And I was always like, Jamie, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> you know, Jews don't believe in Jesus and <laughs> I'm never converting. I had a very supernatural dream. And I had a, a death experience in my dream. So I died in my dream. There was this giant ball of fire that came out of the sky and spread like wildfire and completely burned me alive, consumed me, and lifted me into heaven. I felt the layers of my life kind of lifting off of me like feathers, and I convulsed in my sleep. I remember shaking profusely, like just as if I was dying, as if I really was physically dying, and I was lifted into heaven beautiful, glorified, happy people that were kind of like rubbing oil on themselves and they were all crowned and they um, were very happy. Heaven stretched across the entire skyline and you could see mansions with just open-ended archways with the most ornate, beautiful, majestic uh, details uh, like, like in a movie or a magazine. I could really feel the presence of a king. I could feel this, this weightiness, this heavy heaviness. I turned my head and looking through one of the archways, all the clouds came together to form the face of God. Jewish people and Gentiles kind of share the same God. Not just that God is for Jewish people, but that he is for the entire human race. I, I knew instinctively in the deepest part of my understanding of myself uh, that that image was the reflection of the God that I had always identified with as being Jewish. I'm receiving it in a Jewish context because that's the only thing I have to compare it to. That reflection was Jesus. Suddenly, I'm faced with this reality that I had always believed to be true, which which is a lie that, that Jews worship one God and Gentiles and the rest of the world worship this other God. And it was just God himself revealing himself to me in the deepest, most inner part of my heart. No words had to be spoken. It was, it was just there. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's like as a Jewish person, you could believe in anything else but Jesus. The minute you say Jesus, it's like, shame on you. I felt very shameful uh, about my belief in Jesus. And yet, I was really being touched in a way that I'd never been touched before. 
and it was kind of like dying to self. It was physically painful. I received so much healing and so much life within me. I'm, I'm not talking about things that make you happy or things that make me, you know, feel content and grateful. I'm talking about real deep, hidden joy in the core of your being that when you go to sleep at night, you know wholeheartedly that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and that God has you. He's got your back. And that's how I feel.